Welcome back to my kitchen. If you are new here, my name is Christine. Today I am making a really easy chicken crock pot slow cooker dinner. It's kind of my own recipe. I've made something similar before where I have followed a recipe, but today I'm just kind of winging it and I want to bring you along. We will see how it turns out. I don't know at this point, but I've been obsessed lately with all of these different seasoning packets that you see in the grocery store to just try in different recipes. And I saw this white chicken chili packet. So we are going to try that today. And like I said, I'm going to come up with my own recipe along the way for it. I'm not following the directions on the back of the packet like I have been doing, but I wanna bring you along. Come with me, let's get started. This part is totally optional, but I just have some things to use up. And I have a bunch of scallions that I bought for a recipe, and sometimes I just forget about these. So I just thought I would throw them in and use them just like an onion. I also have a bunch of cilantro here that I have from my game day Super Bowl recipes. And I thought I'd throw that in too. If I can fit it all in here. I tend to overfill this thing. As you can see. <laughs> I also have some cloves of garlic that I have already had peeled and didn't use, so I thought I'd throw those in. Again, this part is just all optional. And there we go. I can link this down below. It's always linked down below because it's one of my favorite things ever. To the crock pot, I'm adding a package of chicken. I have chicken tenders. This is not ideal. This is not the chicken I wanted, but this is what happens when blind people like myself go shopping. I often buy the wrong things. And so this is what I have to deal with. So this is what we're using. Wish I had chicken breasts or chicken cutlets or even chicken boneless, skinless chicken thighs. But this is what I have. I also wish I had a little bit more chicken, but it's okay. We're doing it. Now I'm going in with my packet of white chicken chili seasoning. Whatever's in here, I'm sure I could probably come up with it if I looked at the ingredients, but this is more fun. Ooh, you guys, it smells really, really good. Wow. Next, I'm going in with a can of black beans. I'm not draining anything because I don't feel like it and I don't, I don't think it's necessary. I'm going in with a can of white beans. These are great northerns. A can of corn. I feel like I should drain this a little bit. I just drained off a little bit of the liquid real quick. Next, I have some salsa that needs to be used up. You could also use a can of Rotel. Now I'm going to add all of the green onions, cilantro, garlic, and celery. I have a block of cream cheese that I had in my refrigerator, so I'm going to throw that in. I have some extra sharp cheddar left. I'm going to put that in. I didn't put it all in because I want to have some of it left afterwards to top the chili with. And that is it. That's everything that needs to go in here, in my opinion. I'm just going to kind of maybe break this up a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if it's necessary. I decided to add a little water. That was maybe a third of a cup. I can always add more water later or a little bit of chicken broth, but let's get this going. I'll check it out a little later and see what we think. I've got the crock pot set to low. We'll be back later. Okay, it's been a couple hours. I just wanna give it a stir and see what's happening. Wanna see what the chicken is like? Oh shit. 
I just about scalded myself there. Let me try this again. I was just trying to see if the chicken is like falling apart. Yes, it is. Okay, that's perfect. I'm not going to break up all the chicken yet, but I'm just going to give it a good stir. Now that I know though, that I like this consistency, I also know it'll thicken up a little bit more once I'm done. I have found that things always do here in the crock pot, especially if you take the lid off for a little bit. So I'm just giving this a little stir, getting the lid back on. I'm going to keep it on low for just a little bit longer, but it is looking really, really good. I'm really happy with it. I pretty much shredded up all the chicken and gave it a good stir. I'm just going to let it sit for a little bit. It will continue to thicken up a little bit and I will give it a quick taste test, see if it needs any adjustments. You guys look at this. It turned out really, really good. It's hearty, cozy. My whole family loved it. I think you guys are gonna love it too. Give it a try. As always, you won't be disappointed, I promise. Top with some extra sharp cheddar cheese and a little dollop of sour cream. So delicious. Mm. Really, really good. I would definitely use that seasoning packet again. Really, really nice. I also want to try this with a chip. You know, you could crush chips in here and I think that would be really good too, but I think it'd be also good to dip chips in. So I just thought I would give that a try and see what I think of that. Mm. Super delicious, oh my God. That would be really good if you just crushed up a bunch of those and put them on top of your bowl. I really like dipping them in here. That is delicious and I love anything crunchy and that just hits the spot. Love this recipe. Of course, if you are seeing it now and I'm bringing it to you, you know that's the case. I just wanna say thanks for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. It's free. Thanks for watching. Can't wait to see you next time.